welcome to Would I Lie to You, the show with naked truths and well-dressed lies. On David Mitchell's team tonight, a presenter and author of The Thursday Murder Club. When it came out, I went straight down to my local bookshop and used their Wi-Fi to order it online. <laughs> it's Richard Osman. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. And a comedian who's originally from the town of Newcastle in Australia. It's just like our Newcastle, in that nobody wears a coat in January. <laughs> it's Sarah Kendall. <laughs> and on Lee Mack's team tonight, one of Britain's favourite poets, whose new book is called Up in the Attic. I didn't understand it. It was a bit lofty for me. It's Pam Ayres. <laughs> and an whose co-star once punched him in the face during filming. Rest assured, that kind of thing almost never happens here. From <laughs> Ghosts, it's Kyle Smith-Bino. <laughs> we'll begin with round one, Home Truths, where our panellists read out a statement from the card in front of them. Now, to make things harder, they've never seen the card before. They have no idea what they'll be faced with. It's up to the opposing team to sort the fact from the fiction. And Richard is first up tonight. Two years ago, after losing my keys at a fancy dress party, I had to break into my house while dressed as Darth Vader. <laughs> Please do. Ooh, OK. Huh. I want to know about a costume. Was it a good one? It wasn't bad, actually. It was from a shop. It wasn't, it wasn't homemade. Right. There's not many things I can do as fancy dress. I can do Frankenstein, uh, <laughs> and I can do Darth Vader, or I can do two children standing on each other's shoulders <laughs> wearing a raincoat. <laughs> How did you get in? Do you know the bathroom window on the ground floor? No, I don't know the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there, essentially. What, you squeezed in, you, through a bathroom window? You know what, Rob? I used the force. <laughs> oh, you, you used a hell of a force. <laughs> so what, not, not the little window, you mean the whole big yeah, it's bathroom a, window? It's a stash window, yeah. And I've done it before. I went under it with a, with a little piece of metal that's by the bins. It's an old school ruler, which I've always kept there. A school ruler of yeah. Herculean strength, <laughs> then, I should say. <laughs> no, you know, the, you know the metal ones, like technical drawing. OK. By the way, it's no longer there now if anyone does go around to my house. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the party now? Which other characters? Were there any other Star Wars characters at the party? Uh, yeah, and this is genuinely true. Someone else at the party was a Darth Vader, but in... I bet you listen, towered over him. Would, <laughs> he would have felt like a pathetic Vaderette. <laughs> was he... Was he, he was, how enfeebling yeah. to be the small Vader at a party. <laughs> was he smaller than you? <laughs> Take a wild guess, Lee. <laughs> What about the voice? Did you attempt to do it for fun at the yeah. party? Could you give us a demonstration? Okay, yeah, of course. Of course I could. So I would say, for example, um... I know what Luke Skywalker got for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> he got a Sabutio. <laughs> was, was he doubling as a minicab driver? <laughs> <laughs> he got a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> and he got a football. <laughs> and everyone would say, how do you know that? And I would say... I have felt his presence. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what do you think, Pam? I, I have a sneaking feeling that it is true, actually. You know, being shut out of your house isn't that unusual, so I think it's true. I just don't yeah. think you've got a ruler by the bins. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a man who puts a ruler by a bin... Puts yeah. a key under a brick first, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 Not necessarily, cos the key thing about the ruler by the bins is, is that it's knack needed. A key is no knack needed. Yeah, Are no, you speaking no, English? No yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People underestimate the protective power of a knack. If yeah. you need a knack to get in, yeah. then essentially the means of getting in can be available because the burglars won't have the knack. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they steal it and then it's a knick-knack. <laughs> Right, what's it going to be? We'll say it's a lie. You say it's a lie. OK, Richard, Darth Vader through the bathroom window. Truth or lie? It was... Sorry, Pam, a lie. Oh, oh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's a lie. Richard didn't break into his house while dressed as Darth Vader. And next up is Pam. Oh, OK. I once did a parachute jump just because I fancied the instructor. <laughs> Davis team. Mm. Um, when was this? 
Um, it was in the 70s. So how did you meet this instructor that you fancied? Oh, because um, a family member um, was um, a, a skydiver. And in the process of watching him skydive, I met the instructor and felt an immediate magnetic attraction. <laughs> <laughs> so this, I mean, this I thought is... you were going to say I fell for him. <laughs> I, I did, but I'm a poet, you know, so I like to embellish. Oh, that's true. I, I just like to go for little puns. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> fell for him. I fell for him. Oh, <laughs> see, I got sorry, dear. Sorry, I'm not used to you, you see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Describe him to us then. What was it about this man that was yeah, so attractive? He, he wore a lot of straps. <laughs> oh, hello. All right. And what is it about a man in straps that you like? Well, I don't know. There's something sort of dark about straps. I don't know. You know, he had these, <laughs> he had these straps and the sort of... Uh, so, around the groins and everything. And he did... He did it. Whoa. I wasn't expecting this, Pam, I'll be very honest. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you recall his name, Pam? Yeah, Doug. <laughs> Doug, 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 this is the Vale of the White Horse accent of which I'm exceedingly proud. So how did you take it a step further? Well, I, I volunteered to learn how to parachute jump. Yeah. yeah. And did you have to have straps as well? Oh, indeed, I did. Mm. Are you strapped to Doug as well? Because I've done this. No. And they, well, you, you're on the front, well, I was, like no, a little no, baby I've... in a papoose. Oh, no, this was... <laughs> no, no, no. no, Lee, it was lovely. I've never felt so safe. <laughs> <laughs> Which way were you facing? Or oh, facing oh, away. All right. <laughs> So, Listen, this is for wimps, this is for wimps. This I did alone. <gasps> you weren't strapped to Doug. No, I you... was not strapped to Doug. I would have thought that would have been the whole point. Well, no, <laughs> but I didn't find out until he hit me on the shoulder and said, go. <laughs> <laughs> the old romantic. <laughs> so what's the time scale of this? There's the day you go with a family member who's a skydiver. What was your plan that day, that you were just going to go up in the aeroplane that your family no, member was going to jump out of? I wasn't going to go up in the aeroplane. I was no. just going to go and uh, watch. And then I noticed the instructor reclining in the hangar, looking steamy. <laughs> did you...? Did you... <laughs> <laughs> did you, uh, did you uh, talk to him much? Yeah, I did. I said, um, how do you get into this line of business? Nice! <laughs> <laughs> With the, the classic head wobble of seduction. <laughs> Did you have lessons with Doug? Yeah. Oh, tell us about those. Was he a West Country person? No. Where it was wasn't. he from? I don't know where he came from. Well, what was his voice? Oh, it was received English. It was one of these. Now you listen yeah. to me, Ayers. That's right. Let me just tighten this strap. <laughs> <laughs> This one, that's better. <laughs> Let's stop the blood. Now, he didn't, he didn't say anything <laughs> lascivious like that. He was a perfect gentleman with beautiful received English, and he said, I think you're going to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> well, your heart was a flutter at that, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> All right, so what are we thinking? Richard, what do you think of this? Uh, it, sounds, it sounds reasonable to me. At first, I didn't believe it, but you were going, look, this is just a thing that happened. Like, you just wanted to get your story out. So what's it going to be, David? That's definitely true. Yeah. There's no doubt in your no mind. No doubt in my mind. I can, I can picture it entirely. All right, they're <laughs> saying it's true. So, Pam, was it true or was it a lie? My story was true. <laughs> 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 Yes, it's true. Pam did a parachute jump just because she fancied the instructor. Sarah, you're next. Ah. 